we want to do science, it's fascinating, but it's even more rewarding if it's for the benefit of society. If you can see civilization improving, that's fantastic. We made these discoveries early 1970s. Essentially, we realized that these chemicals would have a, a very strong environmental impact because they would affect the ozone layer. It's been exciting for all of us here at the university to be involved in this uh, great event with the Nobel Prize Inspiration Initiative. We were able to come up with a, an international agreement. All the countries in the planet agreed not to manufacture CFCs anymore. The Nobel Prize Inspiration Initiative has been fantastic with 3M. We started today with a presentation by Mario on climate change and a good discussion. We were able to engage students from local universities and area colleges. We know how to solve many of those challenges, and it's truly an issue of uh, politics, economics, money, and power. And maybe the grand challenge is to, <laughs> you know, define more grand challenges. But, you know, is humanity really as good as it could be? Maybe our human potential hasn't really been reached properly. How do you go about communicating problems that uh, aren't real to a non-scientist. We should make a special effort to first change the mind of those that are in power. That's an incredibly inspiring and incredibly um, great message to be able to talk about how science can help you drive to social change. Oftentimes we as students don't know how we can impact the world. A very important thing is to understand the scientific method. Make decisions based on evidence and not just on beliefs. It's our responsibility to leave a world for future generations in which they can have a standard of living at least as good as the one we have today. Many of our students, we hear from them every day. They are concerned about the future and what they can do. We don't need to sacrifice economic growth. Technology has advanced to such a degree that now these forms of energy, wind and solar, are competitive. When you have someone who says, we do have the solutions, we just have to take action on them, I think that inspires students to, to take action. You can argue and say, oh, civilization will advance no matter what. No, it won't happen by itself. We need to be there. We need to work all together. And I think we can do it.